peace and power, wow, man. Peace and increase to the tribe. Tha ba wa, tha ba wa, tha ba wa to the tribe, man. If you've been surfing the wave with me on a daily, you know that the radio is back. We live, man, every single day, Monday through Friday, all right, from uh, 10 to 2, West Coast. You go to 432thedrop.com, you click on that live player, and you know what I'm saying? I come in late, man, 10 p.m. Every day, man, Monday through Friday, man, all right? I bring you into that Shabbat. It's a beautiful thing. We play beautiful music, man. We drop poetry off by our aqua Thai battle. We drop off links, man. Beautiful research done, man. Last night's show was amazing, man. Miss D, Miss D, Miss D in the Copper Color Awakening set it off with the beautiful revelation about Joseph Smith, man. Tabu Coco. We had the chat room popping, man. Much of hot to everybody else in the chat room. Sister Larissa, man. Beautiful drop links. The whole, I mean, so much stuff is connecting with our aqua yang, aqua yang. Our sisters dropping the drop and drop nation, man. You gotta get some hot to these sisters, man. And all my bros, you already know, man. We we tried up in real time, man. So I love what we're doing right now. We are unpeeling the layers. We breaking it all back and we breaking it all down in real time and drop nation, man. I'm gonna drop some Baruch on y'all, man. I got some Baruch drop. And uh, yeah, man, dig on it, man. Just just continue to vibrate above all the chaos. Right now, you're just going to get a whole heap of chaos. I want to read about this chaos, man. And just drop this on y'all right quick. Send out a hop to the tribe. Hawa, hawa. Much a, much a hop to Hawa Stu and Camellia out there, man. They had their beautiful, beautiful Yapa, Yapa, princess, baby girl. Keep sending out a hop to Hawa Stu. Just click the link below. Send that a hop to Howard Stu. Let's go. Baruch, Baruch. We're in that Etza 4. Get that Baruch, man. You know what I'm saying? I just pray to the most high to put put something on my heart, man, to deliver in real time, man. I open it up. Here we go. Here we go. So here, therefore, the interpretation of the last black waters. What are the black waters? You've been digging on our orientation. You've been in that world's beyond the pole. Let's get it, man. We're talking about our Hawata. Hawata. Let go. Here, therefore, the interpretation of the last black waters, which are to come after the black. So these last black waters are to come after the black. Just roll with me here. We in the, we in the answer four, Baruch chapter 70. You dig on it, man. Pause it, read it. Let go. So here, therefore, the interpretation of the last black waters, which are to come after the black. This is the word. Behold, the last come, the days come, and it shall be when the time of the age has ripened. What are we doing right now? We're looking at the ripening of these last days, these last black waters, man. We talking about when the time of the age has ripened, man. It's ripening right now, right? And the harvest of its evil and good seeds has come. So the last days have ripened and the harvest of evil. And what? Good seeds has come. So the harvest of evil and good seeds. So you're gonna see the harvest of the evil happen? Chaos? Then you're going to see the harvest of the good. Bunch of hop to Uno, man, getting to the root of it all. He said, man, we're not gods. We're goods. We're goods. We are the goods. We are the goods. If you're the goods, you got the drop. You know what I'm saying? You are the goods. You are everything that's good. You're the goods. You know what I'm saying? You're the goods of the creator. You're the goods. You feel me? So the... Behold, the days come, and it shall come when the time of the age has ripened, and the harvest of its evil and good seeds has come. That Hawa will bring upon the earth and its inhabitants and its rulers the perturbation, the perturbation. Perturbation means you're being perturbed, you're being 
you know what I'm saying, destroyed of the ruach and stupor of heart so the perturbing is being ancient something's happening something chaotic is happening in this ruach of these people in the stupor of their heart and they shall hate one another and provoke one another to fight and the mean shall rule over the honorable look around the mean the mean shall rule over the honorable and those of low degree shall be extolled above the famous. So you famous Nagas is walking around, but those of a lower vibration are being extolled above you, exalted above you. Are we reading the truth here in Baruch? Are we reading the truth in Baruch? Let's go. And those of low degree, <laughs> All right, they want to give themselves degrees, right? Those of low degree shall be extolled above the famous. You're the famous. And the many shall be delivered into the hands of the few. And those who were nothing. Those who were nothing. Those who were nothing. shall rule over the strong so who are you being ruled over right now go who who's who's ruling over you right now go is the strong ruling over those that are nothing are you nothing or are those that are nothing are those that are accounted for as spittle, are they ruling over you? Is the strong ruling over the, the nothing or is the nothing ruling over the strong? Those of a low degree shall be exalted above the famous, man, the famous. You talking about the Hollywood walk, uh, star, walk of stars, man. They gotta get themselves golden statues and stars they have to give themselves golden statues and stars you come with it in your ruach you come with the gold you come with immortality let's go the low degree shall be exalted above the famous and they and the many shall be delivered into the hands of the few, and those who are nothing shall rule over the strong, and the poor shall have abundance beyond the rich, and the impious shall exalt themselves above, above the heroic. And the wise shall be silent, and the foolish shall speak. Neither shall the thought of men be confirmed, nor the counsel of the mighty, nor shall the hope of those who hope be confirmed. And when those things which were predicted, which have come to pass, then shall confusion fall upon all men. Confusion, man. Don't look at me if you confuse. It's the spirit of stupor. It's just what happens. It's just what happens when you're out of order. It's just what happens when you need a wake-up call. You wake up and say, damn, I was confused. I didn't know I was on my own land. Damn, I was confused. I didn't know I'm not spinning on a ball. Damn, I was confused. I didn't know that this was actually historical drop, but you have to reverse the curse to find it. Damn, I, I was confused. I didn't know that 440 Hertz was separating me literally in the inner dimensions of my soul. I didn't know it was a frequency war. Damn, I was confused. But now I got the drop. Now I am the drop. Now I am the water. We're just talking about the black water and the last days and times when the age has ripened and the harvest of its evil and good seeds has come. And when those things which were predicted have come to pass, then shall confusion fall upon all men. Confusion. And some of them shall fall in battle. 
and some of them shall perish in anguish and some of them shall be destroyed by their own. Then Hawa will reveal those peoples whom he has prepared before. Then Hawa will reveal those Nagas who have been prepared before. You were already prepared for this. You came here for this. You are built for this. You are already prepared for this. Then Hawa will reveal those people whom he has prepared before. And they shall come and make war with the leaders that shall be left. Come on. And it shall come to pass that who, whosoever gets safe out of the war shall die in the earthquake. What's happening right now? Earthquakes, earthquakes, earthquakes. Chile, earthquake. San Francisco, earthquake. This Madrid, right? This Madrid, right? This Madrid, this Madrid. What's being spurred up right now? What's being woken up? Is it man-made? Is it creator-made? What's going on? Is it order or chaos, man? And it shall come to pass that whosoever gets safe out of the war shall die in the earthquake, and whosoever gets safe out the earthquake shall be burned by fire. And whosoever gets safe out the fire shall be destroyed by famine. And it shall come to pass that whosoever of the victors and the vanquished gets safe out of it and escapes all these things aforesaid will be delivered into the hands of my servant, my messenger, Hamashiach. Which Hamashiach? Which Prester John? Which Prester John? Let's go. For all the earth shall devour its inhabitants, and the holy land shall be mercy on its own, and it shall protect its inhabitants at that time. Hawa, hawa. Feel the vibration. Be the vibration. So all this destruction, no matter where they go, earthquake, they, oh, we escaped the earthquake. Fire. Fire, we escaped the fire. Famine. Their judgment is coming. You've been judged. So what is your destiny? Hawa, hawa. And the holy land shall have mercy on its own, its own people. Where is the holy land? That's our orientation. Where are you? Where you at, man? I mean, where you from is where you at. Where you at, man? Where's the holy land? That's the next question, man. Where's everyone going? Where, where do these pilgrims come? Remember, pilgrims in America, Thanksgiving, pilgrims only come to holy lands. Pilgrims come to go make a pilgrimage to a holy land. You're in the holiest of lands. And what happens in this holy, sacred place? This Yerushalayim? It shall have mercy on its own people. And it shall protect its inhabitants at that time. You'll be protected by your own land. This is the vision which you have seen. And this is the interpretation. For I have come to tell you these things because your prayer has been heard with ha wa This is the vision, my people. We are collective witnesses to this vision, my people. Here now also regarding the bright lightning which is to come at the consummation after these black waters. This is the word. After the signs have come of which you were told when the nations become turbulent in the time of my Mashiach, my messenger, that who I send, that who I rock with, not who they tell me in their story. Which messenger, which David, which priest king, which Mashiach? We talking Joshua coming back? We talking Moses coming back? Melchizedek? Whatever priest, we're talking priests and priest kings, man. So when we look for our priest king, we're on the trail of all of them. Let's go. He shall both summon all the nations and some of them, some of them he shall spare 
Some of them he shall slay. Some of them he shall spare. Some of them he shall slay. These things, therefore, shall come upon the nations which are to be spared by him. Every nation which knows not Israel has not trotted down the seed of Yaquav shall indeed be spared. Listen again. Listen again, man. Focus on me. Not the silly little barking dog, man. You know, my neighbor got this crazy dog, man. He's jamming me up. Like, man, you know, get that little dog a Scooby snack or something, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. He just want to be a part of it. He just want to be a part of the cipher. I get it. Let's go. All these dogs, man. We got to dodge the hijack with these dogs, man. These dogs, man. Let's go. So every nation which knows not you, every nation which knows not Israel. All right, so they don't even know about this. Their hands are clean. They don't know. And has not trotted down Jacob. All right? Will be spared. And this is what they're afraid of. Because there's playback in the payback, baby. There's playback in the payback. And it ain't no play play. And every nation that has trotted you down, every nation that has turned you away, every nation that has stolen you and sold you, every nation that has scattered you, Every nation that is stolen from you will be judged. But the nation that doesn't know Israel, you know, they don't even know what's going on. And they have never trotted us down. They've never trotted Jacob down. Only them. Every nation which knows not Israel and has not trotted down Jacob shall indeed be spared. You're free to go. This because some out of every nation shall be subjected to your people, but all of those who have ruled over you or have known you shall be given up to the sword. Every nation that has known you, has purposely done this to you, every nation, man, that has ruled over you, anybody that has ruled over these Nagas, it's a wrap. Anywhere in your history, if you ruled over so-called black people, if you ruled over these copper color races found here, it's a wrap. I'm not saying it. You're reading it out of Baruch. You pause it. You read it. You pause it. You don't want to talk about this in church? This don't, this don't make for a good Sunday morning sermon? <laughs> it does to me. Every day Sunday morning when I read this. Let's go. Let's go. This because some out of every nation shall be subjected to your people. Subjected to your people. Remember Isaiah 11. But all those who have ruled over you, all those who have ruled over these nagas, you call them niggas, you shall be given up to the sword. And the creator told you so. I mean, he surfed away, you know. And it shall come to pass when he has brought low everything that is in the world and has sat down in peace for the age on the throne of his kingdom, that joy shall be revealed and the rest shall appear. And then healing, healing, and then healing shall descend and do. Healing shall descend and do. Imagine healing descending in dew. What's dew? It's like a mist, right? Imagine the creator just sending down a, a, a healing dew, a healing mist, and suddenly your whole countenance, everything, your spirit, everything is healed because of a dew, because of a living water that's sprayed on you. What's this dew? We're just talking about the drop. We're just talking about drops of dew that are healing you. Drops of dew that's healing you. Do you want the drop? Do you want the drop? You want that living water, that purified substance. Let's go. Let's get the dismount, man. Much a hive to the tribe, much a hive. Shalom, Shabbat, die. Let's go. All 
I'm in chapter 73, verse 2. Let's go. And the healing shall descend and do. And disease shall withdraw. Like I said, it's going to heal you. The disease shall withdraw from you, man. It's 432. And the healing shall descend and do, and, and disease shall withdraw, and anxiety and anguish and lamentation pass from amongst and gladness proceed throughout the whole earth. And no one shall again die untimely, nor shall any av adversity suddenly befall. And judgments and revelings and contentions and revenges and blood and passions and envy and hatred and whatsoever things are like these shall go into condemnation when they are removed. For it is these very things which have filled this world with evils, and on account of these the life of man has been greatly troubled, and wild beasts shall come from the forest. Listen up. I didn't even see this part, so this is all Hawa. Uh, as you are my witness, I did not even see this part. Let's go. Wow. You gotta get the drop, man. You gotta get the drop, man. Listen up to the drop, man. For it is these very things which have filled the world with evils. And on account of these, the life of man has been greatly troubled with, has been greatly troubled. Now listen up, verse six, listen up, you pull it up. <laughs> and wild beast shall come from the forest and minister unto man. And wild beasts shall come from the forest and minister unto men. And asps and dragons and dragons shall come forth from their holes to submit themselves to a little child. You are my witness. I didn't know there was dragon drop in Baruch. I've never been told about Baruch having dragon drop. I asked the most I said, please, you know, give us some water. Because, you know, we need it right now. We need that dew. We need the healing dew, right? We need the healing dew. And what did the most I bring to us, Baruch? Baruch chapter 73, you go read it. Go. Go read Baruch chapter 73 and tell me if there's some dragon drop. And why are we talking about priest king, the dragon king? Let go. And wild beasts shall come from the forest and minister unto men. And asps and dragons shall come forth from their holes to submit themselves to a child. And women shall no longer have pain when they bear, nor shall they suffer torment when they yield the fruit of the womb. So we're talking about the blessings of miracles. Women won't have no more childbirth, child pain, man. And dragons will come from their holes and submit themselves to a little child. They will choose up. They will choose their rider. Their rider. We're talking aerial support. We're talking a kingdom. We're talking dracon fire. I can't make this shit up, man. You're surfing this way with me. Baruch chapter 73 confirms every single piece of dragon drop we've ever dropped. And dragons shall come forth from their holes. And dragons shall come forth from their holes. And dragons shall come forth from their holes and submit themselves to a little child. Mosai says to be like a child, right? Empty your cup, learn, be like a child. Submit themselves to those that can empty their cups and reveal, be like a child. And it shall come to pass in those days that the reapers shall not grow weary, nor those that build be 
be, be toil worn for the work shall of themselves speedily advance together with those who do them in much tranquility for that time is consummation of that which is corruptible and the beginning of that which is not corruptible you are not corruptible remember the cedar tree love to teach me to be priestly Jerusalem the go love to the cedars of Lebanon you go support them man all right great Facebook community you know what I'm saying we had a wonderful powwow with them you can go 432thedrop.com click on support drop nation and su support the family that's building and, and, and tribing up man acquiring you know what I'm saying more and more and more land man we just talking about more land man so you got family that's acquiring land right now. You you go support them. You go be there for them. We are a wall of protection for all our family. Let's go. Tribe up. Tribe up. Drop nation. For that time is the consummation of that which is corruptible. In the beginning, the beginning of that which is not corruptible. And the beginning of that which is not corruptible. Therefore, those things which are predicted shall belong to it. Therefore, it is far away from evil. You are far away from evil, my people. And near, you're near to those things which die not. You're near to those things which die not. Immortality, living water. Who is pressed to John? The goat. This is the bright lightning which came after the last dark waters. Seventy-four. I'll get it one more time. Therefore, those things which are predicted shall belong to it. Therefore, it is far away from evils and near to those things which die not. This is the bright lightning which came after the last dark waters, the last age. When, when dragons shall come forth from their holes to submit themselves to a little child. When wild bees shall come from the forest and minister unto men. And dragons shall come forth from their holes, from their caves, and submit themselves to their riders, to their dragon riders. To you, my naga, stay up, suit up, and choose up.